Hello everybody, it's Crazy Bill, and of course, Mac OS X Mavericks came out and uh, their iLife apps got updated, so most likely your copy of iMovie looks like this. And at first you're like, oh my gosh, what did they do the program? Well, not to worry, I will have some little tips that will get you on track. So this is your starting screen, and compared to the last version, it's a mess. I mean, I do like the colors and everything, but just, it's not what you're used to. Okay, we're going to start out by going to Create Movie. We'll go with no theme. And we'll call this one Demo. <laughs> there we go. Now you want to select, uh, I created a new event, a new blank event for this. So you just select your new blank event. Hit OK. So now you'll have your blank event here. And uh, actually this is your timeline. This is your event. So to switch it, you go up to Window, Swap Project and Event. Now you can hide this if you want, because this will have your event here, and then all your transitions and stuff are here instead of over here. But you can simply hide that and just drag your clips. So we got some nice water. Uh, A B and some dogs. Oh, my bad. Now, with uh, your trackpad, you can actually pinch to zoom, which is a very nice feature. I can't remember if you could do that in the old version. So I'll just strike my clip. And there we go. Now we have our clips laid out. Now, I don't like the audio of these, so I'll just detach audio on all of them. Now, a new nice feature with this is that if you look, when you do uh, fading, it'll show this really nice uh, uh, graphic for showing the fade, which is a little more cleaner than the original. So we'll just uh, delete the audio. So we're going to want uh, some nice transitions. So we go to show transitions and I'll show you all your new or er, all your transitions. Uh, here's a new ripple transition. So we'll just put that there. Um, simple cross blur right there. And that'll we'll call it good. So Obviously, we don't want my hand in there. Split clip, sorry. And there we go. Alternatively, instead of splitting the clip, you can double click, and it'll give you this really nice option. <laughs> really nice option, and you can just trim this way. So there's my ugly hand and then you just close the clip trimmer and this clip is too long a lot of a lot of blurry parts so let's just split it there and split it there good enough so now we have our clip, go to titles, uh, there's a few more new titles, um, uh, in my version uh, this title menu is kind of buggy and it kind of gets a little sluggish at times. I believe this is a new one, it's kind of a Windows Movie Maker. E to me. Well, this is a nice one.
There we go. Now that my mouse isn't freaking out on me. So to edit this, you double click. And that's how you do your titles. Okay. Now one of my biggest things is I could not figure out how to do a voice recording. So what did you do? Let's go to video or window voice record voiceover and then I'll give you your options for that and then you can just select where you want to start. So you move your oh sorry, you move this where you want to start, this playhead. So if I wanted to start there, I would just click this and then it would give me the option to record and then your input source and volume and all that is right there. Now to edit your clips, uh, video, colors, etc., white balance, you just click on your clip, then you go up here, this will be for your white balance, and you can uh, click the whitest thing on here to do your white balance. So we'll just do that for fun because I don't want to click on my dog's butt. That doesn't look very good. So we can adjust the warmness, the, the temperature, and uh, your color and contrast, your levels here. So that's looking good. We'll just Maybe drop the saturation just a bit. Yeah, good enough. Uh, here's your crop settings. And you can rotate. And then here's your image stabilization. And then your sound options would be right here. It's got this auto adjust. Oh, to bring this down, you just click the adjust. It's got this enhance option, which will automatically change the color and white balance for you but sometimes it's not always the greatest thing now to add effects you go up here select video effect and this will show you the classic um, video effect window and then same for the audio but we don't have audio there and for your maps and backgrounds they're all here GarageBand iTunes, all your sound effects, all your classic sound effects are right here. And um, there's even new theme music, which might be it might have been in the old version, but everything is there. And that's my mini tutorial. It's not very good, but kind of gets your bearings on the new version of iMovie. Thank you.